Hello everybody, how's it going? Today we are playing Simul Subnautica Below Zero. Now, if I remember correctly, we were doing... We were on quite an important mission. We were exploring the Omega base, I believe it was. And there was a, an underground biome in which an alien habitat that was used for meditating um, was found in that area. What was also found that is really useful for us in building our depth module for our sea truck, as you can see on the top right, is the diamond. So, Last known location. Ooh. But we need to be careful because we're basically already at max depth. Yeah, maybe I should explore this. I guess we're lucky that they now... When we die, we end back at our uh, ship. Or like vehicle. Rather than back at our quote-unquote base. Because otherwise that would be a lot harder. Okay, so we got gel sacks. We got... Gold deposits, ruby, shell sacks, ruby, gold deposits, anything else? I think that's titanium or copper, yeah. Because titanium can be found in all of them. Uh, can we get an oxygen plant now? I might head backwards. Nope, there's one. I mean, this is also. White's a nice. I tell you to stay oh. away. From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. Hi. Here on my turf. Right. I apologize. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Yeah. Is that a yes or a no? Okay. Can we have a beacon here to understand or to remember where we are and what it is? Ah, oh, shoot. We don't even have a source for this. Okay. What's this? A uh, water filtration suit. Most of the body and provides clean and drinkable water. I remember that. I just don't remember... If that was from the first game, or just something that I've seen about this game. Oh wow, you... This person must have been here a really, really long time. Oh wait, did we lose our... Oh, we lost our battery. Yikes. Do you have a battery charger? I would uh, love if you do. Actually, no. You just unload this battery, place into the scanner, and just start scanning everything. Because, yeah, no, these items are going to be really important. A moon pool. Um, probably something else I've used, right? A prawn suit. Oh, wait, is that going to give me a customized prawn suit? No, 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 wait a second. Uh, creation, that's the water filtration suit. Which, by the way, aerogel, easy, copper wine, easy, synthetic fibers. Are they easy? Ruby and spiral plant clipping. Oh, I don't know which one that is. It might be easy, though. Hopefully. Then there's moon pool, cool, nothing different there. And then, what about that prawn suit? Anything? Ooh, we got a vehicle upgrade console, that's pretty good. The modification station. Hmm, that's it for now. Okay. Ah, right, let's explore. Can we get the reinforcements? Nope, I guess we can already make them then. Oh, you crazy thing. Hi. What's that for? 
I told you to stay off my land. I apologize, Marguerite. Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. We're not Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull uh. crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. Wait, did you just... Was that me? If you're that not, that Altera, thingy? why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. Oh. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Wow. This is incredible. I, this is nowhere near um like the first game that okay, far out to sea this. swimming back for land wasn't an option i'd die from exhaustion long before i made it to shore all i could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere i felt a suction and suddenly there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me it had taken hours for the reaper's corpse to float to the surface Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Whoa, uh, that sounds quite difficult. Quite a harrowing journey she's been through. Uh, what's this, by the way? A snow fox. The snow fox is a one-person hover bike designed for fast traversal over a wide variety of terrain. While providing little protection for the pilot, the snow fox can easily outmaneuver most threats, especially when upgraded with a jump module. Just do not try to take it over water. High speed hover bike on board headlight will make it look cool. <laughs> awesome. And then a nice f slogan. Alright, let's uh, search around. A snow stalker. What are you? Obviously, a snow stalker. Hi. Yep, I understand. I cannot go in there. Thank you. I just wanted to scan you. A large room glass dome fragment. Oh, that's good. Uh, can we not scan this leviathan head? No, not important? Okay. Yeah, sure. If you don't know, that's a reaper leviathan head. Um, quite uh, scary monsters from the first game. Right. So then she wants us to go and disable the tower over in Delta Base. Uh, we've been to Delta before, and we explored the tower, but uh, like she said, we never really disabled it or did anything about it. Uh, the tower. So yeah. Before I use, or before I change the batteries from the scanner tool over to the uh, sea glide, let me just quickly search for the platform that had more things to scan. It's really difficult to think before you speak in a game like Subnautica, uh, just because too many things to remember. New technology many different acquired. Words. What's a spy penguin, and can I make it? Uh, luckily, the PDA does pause. That's awesome. A large glass dome, yes. A sea truck perimeter defense upgrade. Provides increased threat protection. That's pretty good. Right? Remote-controlled observation robot is the spy penguin. And then the spy penguin remote tool for driving. The spy penguin. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. A test override module. Diagnostic module for Delta Communications Tower. 
but we need a parallel processing unit. And we don't have that. Oh, we have this. I'm gonna drop this first things first. But then how do we make a parallel processing unit? Because we need that to disable the thing. And then obviously we can't make a snow fox yet. We can't even make a habitat builder. Huh. We definitely have a lot of uh, things to answer. Right. Let's unload the battery and go straight to our C truck. Nope, we can't. Um, let's go back up. All right. Let me open the door. Check in here for the processing unit. Nope. I don't think it's going to be here. Yeah, otherwise it would highlight orange. So, nope, not in here. That's fine. Then, we... Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to just search for some more diamonds down here. Now that we have at least a location to take a breath. So, you know, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just search for diamonds real quick. I definitely think, though, that they should be in areas with higher temperatures. So I'm kind of doubting the location here, but um, I shouldn't, because there's one right here. A thermal plant fragment. Oh, shoot. Uh, do we have a thermal plant Warning. available to seconds of oxygen remaining. Nope, but if we scan this, we will. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Quick, please. Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Three, two, one. Alright, that was too close for my liking. I don't think we need the light currently. Uh, you know what we do need though? We need some food, so... Let's just heat up this nutrient block. Alright. No time to waste, let's go straight down again. We're searching for one more, um, diamond. And then I believe we should be able to make everything else that we need. Uh, do we have enough space for... yes, we do. We do have enough space for some lithium and other resources. Uh, no, come on, come down. Let's get some uranite crystals as well. And that's more rubies, sure. Never know when you may need them. Especially if aerogel becomes more and more important. Lithium, uranite crystal. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, we already got a thermal plant. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, that's another thermal plant. I mean, it makes sense, because I feel like these, uh... They're not geysers, but they're definitely releasing heat. Uh, but yeah, no, I think those things might be a good source of heat, and therefore... Oxygen. ...would allow sufficient power to a base such as this. Now... Obviously, we can't. Yep, yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, we can't go through there. Uh, I get, we'll be back here, anyways, because obviously, this seems like a quest of some sort. So, there's no real need to worry about exploring everything yet, just yet. I'm hoping that the, la yeah, the pilot last known location hopefully will stay with us. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to uh, remember where this is. At least not yet. I still need some more work on my geographical abilities for Subnautica Below Zero. I know 45, 46... How was it? 46, 45B? Is that the planet name? Uh, yeah, I think so. I know it. most of its geographical locations, but that's only in a volcanic crater. Uh, not near here, probably. Alright. In we go. Can I? No, I don't want to go out. Yeah, access upgrades. Because we got this now. 
we kind of stole it from the lady, from Marguerite, but she won't mind, I don't think. Okay, then. I guess we'll be... Oh, God. There's a lot of creatures nearby. Uh, right, so we'll be heading back to our base for now. What the hell are you? You look cool. Like a spiny... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes? Not here to hurt any of you. Just wanna... Go up and up. Oh, wow. The lightning is really beautiful. Look at that. You think you can get struck by lightning in this game? Lightning in this game? Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about this place. Wait, are these the creatures that were living in this place? Okay, so we have the spiny doodles. Cool. It's gonna be our name from now on. Oh god, that looks like something that can explode. And it also looks quite painful. Oh, what's that purple thing? <laughs> this game, like, right until the end is gonna be... Ooh, what's this? What's that? That looks cool. I mean, this does look cool, and you cannot lie about that. Oh god. Is that one of just one of those like explosive explosive dosy things? Oh rock puncher. Hey rock puncher, will you punch my sea truck if I leave it here? Let's see. Are you a rude being? Hello. I don't like when you do that. Please leave my things alone. What? We're just trying to jump on top of it. What the hell? What are you doing, mate? You're not trying to attack me now, are you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's definitely trying to do something, but I can't quite tell. Because it kind of feels like it's trying to get on top of the sea truck. Huh. Strange behavior. Strange behavior indeed. Oh god. These creatures living here are really, really cool looking. If there's one emotion so far that I would explain any of the Subnautica games in, would be all. Oh, because, wow, because wow, man, look, oh god, oh, sorry, sorry, sea monkey, <laughs> but look, just, just look at the environment, it looks beautiful, just, wow, it really is incredible. Okay. What do we have here? Hey, would you look at that? We need this. Uh, what do we need? What do we not need, actually? Um, great, this is, this is already fun. Uh, we don't need two diamonds. We only need one diamond. I think we need this. And then the others we don't need right now, right? Because if we go here, if we make a plasteel ingot, Bang, bang, boom. Easy peasy. If we make two enameled glass, since we have all the materials required, we then are able to make... Ooh, aerogel. I feel like aerogel might be good to make, because I need it for one thing or another, I'm pretty sure. So let's do that too. It saves up one uh, inventory slot, so that's good. Ooh, that's why we needed aerogel. Yeah. I'd like that. I think that'd be good. We already got a rebreather. What about tools? No, that's more flares. Don't need that. A spy penguin? I still don't know why we would need that yet, at least. But here it is. The sea truck depth module upgrade mark one. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get that made. Let's not waste any time. All right, and then up we go over yonder. And then, ta-da! 300 meters, so that has doubled the crush depth. 
Not bad, not bad at all. And what do we have here? Ah, yes, we had more iron cubes. Which we could make more quantum lockers with. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, that makes a lot more sense now. We can explore the, um... The fiery depths down there a lot easier. With a 300, uh... Meter C truck. 300 depth module C truck. Right, so we need another advanced wiring kit. Which we can make by... Oh god. Um... Oh! Oh no, no. Yeah, we already know that we need a test override module. No, we need an advanced wiring kit, which is a wiring kit, and a computer chip. So we need two gold, one copper... Sorry, no, two copper, one gold. Right, we can do that, right? Because I feel like quantum lockers are going to be quite good. Ooh, we don't have enough copper. I see. That is a slight issue. Um, I'll put these away in this. Right, uh... Is this something we can make that would be of use to us currently? We need copper wire here, but then synthetic fibers. And to do that, we need a spiral plant clipping, which I am clueless as to how to make. Hmm. <laughs> then here, we could try and make a spy pangling. No, I think we can make a spy pangling right now. Right now, actually. It doesn't seem that hard. Um, you know what, let's just do that. We also need the penguin remote, so let's just keep that in mind. Uh, so let's make a wiring kit. Then the silicone rubber, I think we already have one. And then I just need one copper and two ribbon plants to get the battery. Unless, I don't think we have a spare battery, do we? Yikes. No, I don't want to name anything. Please. Um, we got that. We put these away. Some of our rubies too, from the looks of it. We do have a spare battery. Hmm. Is this going to charge the battery as well? I wonder. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows. Often Sorry, I cut you off. Huh. So what's the remote controlled observation robot? Okay. So then I would I guess I would want to make the remote then. Um uh, <laughs> Okay. By the way, the spy penguin definitely fully charged my battery, so that's awesome. Uh, right. You know, I really, really dislike uh, trying to find ribbon plants, especially in this biome right now, because they just don't seem to be abundant over here. But I definitely know that there are more ribbon plants out of this biome, so that just makes me really excited about venturing further out into the world. Oh, there's one. Come on. Yeah, there's a second one here as well. Now we also need copper. Mm, I'm not going to pick up any more titanium. You know, I bet it's awesome. I won't pick up that ribbon plant either. There you go. Uh, oh no, we need copper wires. Right. We'll probably need three copper then. Oxygen. Oh god. God, copper. Yeah, we'll probably need one to one more copper just so then we can get a spare battery going. Ooh, the penguins! Hi there, buds. How's it going? Yay, there you go. I mean, the more limestone outcrops we find, the better, but I'll probably only pick up copper because titanium is quite abundant so far. And, uh, room in, uh, inventory is not. So. <laughs> Let's not overdo what we can't overdo. Okay then. So now we can make a copper wire. With ease, if I may add. And we can create the spy penguin remote. 
I have no idea what's the use for this, but uh, it is what it is. Let's make some filtered water as well. We're becoming quite thirsty. And let's use them up. Right. I'm gonna use one copper for a battery. And then I'll exit the base and store everything else I have in these lockers. If there is any... If there's enough space, that is. Or if the locker will allow it to use it. Right. Oh, we already had a ribbon plant, so okay. So we're gonna make one more battery. Oh god. What? Why did I pick up that locker? Isn't there... A bunch of things in there? Oh! You can just pick up? Alright. You know what that's gonna be then, right? That means we wanna... Pick everything up to the riz. So we can just pick up the locker with a bunch of stuff in it. We want to make sure we have the, you know, the most useful stuff ever. Oh god. Yes? Right. Yes. Location of an important artifact. I bet it's really good. But right now, it's not of use to me. Because I want to put everything I have away. I'm going to make two wiring kits with the silver. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Please do, Alan. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. I've got two wiring kits now. You know, we definitely need more titanium ingots. So that's six, eight, ten. I am being a bit presumptuous with what resources we're gonna go we're gonna require in the future. Oh, I know we need glass steel, so I'm gonna do that immediately then. Um, but I think being presumptuous is better. Also, just realized titanium ingots are cheaper, so that's not really much of a bother. So, I am kind of tempted to make everything into plasteel. And everything into uh, titanium is probably the most important part. Um, don't need this. The spy penguin we could use, yeah. See, this takes up four space, but we can add quite a large amount into it. And I'm wondering if we have quantum lockers in our base, if we can increase the storage. You know, has, this has some great potential, if it is the way I think it is. Right. You know what I want, then? I want a copper wire for this suit. That's what I want. Um, and I wanted an advanced wiring kit for something, just don't remember what actually. Was it... I mean, it makes no sense to want the depth, mar depth module mark 2, because we can't even create a modification station yet. Um, but I definitely want to be advanced wiring kit for something. Hmm. Uh, Let's throw this out then. And let's store wiring kit, plasteel, iron cube, iron cube. And then some of our nutrient blocks. As well as a spy. I kind of want to use the spy penguin, so let's just pick that up with us. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Oh, hi there. Let's um, also assign correct slots to everything. So we got scanner, searching tool, and then repair tool can go here for now and then I will definitely place a battery in this you know oh god damn it <laughs> I keep trying to name the locker even though I don't want to and even though I just picked up this copper I'll make one more battery because the way the sea glide uses batteries it uh gonna need some almost immediately right let's make sure that we don't have anything else coolio and that's it for now we probably can't go to the delta station deck because even if we wanted to override the tower oh god damn it we're killing some fish i apologize i, I, I really do apologize 
Uh, but yeah, no, we can't go to the Delta Station dock because we need the override module, which we cannot make until we get the... whatever the name was. Actually, we can check. Uh, most of this game is going to be just me checking different blueprints on how to make things. I know, I'm going way too high. Oh, no, 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 oh, God damn it. See? Up and down, up and down. So we need this, but we require the parallel processing unit. We can take this off, though, because now we can already go 300 meters deep because we've already made that. Now, from the experience so far of this game, 300 meters deep is not going to be extremely helpful. Because imagine that uh, the house in which the Crete, uh, what's called Marguerite, was living on was already 400 meters deep. So just uh, keep it, you know, keep that in fact. Now, for this place here, oh god, I don't want to crash into the land for now. Ooh. Can we somehow fit through here with a sea truck? Oh god. Maybe? Oh no, we can't. Okay, we're gonna be a bit careful then. Are we gonna boil alive? Oh, we might. We definitely might. Hi there, is that something we can pick up? No. Oh, yikes. What is this? Pick up gold? No, I don't need gold. Oh no, this isn't even the way. I'm dead. I don't think I had anything extra on me. Everything that I had inside the sea truck was all that I had. Alright. Not the way then. That's good to know. Now we are ticking off the places where we're not meant to be going. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, right. How do I get down there then? All we know is that there must be some sort of cave that leads to those coordinates. Right. But so far, it looks like it's just a lot of flaming hot geysers underneath this island. Which will make it a lot more difficult to traverse down there. See, again, that looks like a similar situation as the previous. Like, it doesn't lead anywhere. But it has some incredible amounts of gold. It actually makes sense now why there was so much gold on the Delta Station dock. Because it's basically the creation of gold down here. Right. I'm wondering if I have to use this like tentacle biome to go into the depth that's required. And then maybe there's a cave that leads towards those coordinates. I mean, I don't doubt it. It's very likely. What we really need to do right now, though, is uh, be careful of our depth. We did the loop, didn't we? We came back to the same location. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay. Screw that. Even hitting your goddamn machine makes me scared. Okay, I'm really not being cautious anymore. Okay, that's 220 meters. 240, right. It's definitely deeper down. It's through here. Okay. Is it? I mean, if it's through here... Oh, God. We need to go, like, way further than 300 meters deep. So what I'll do is I'll get out and see if we can, like, hook underneath and then over to that. But 
I'm really unsure. Yes, it's like no pathway. Is this tentacle biome? Ooh. 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 We have finished the storage mojo, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty cool. Uh, God, there are so many of those tentacle hand things, and I don't like it. Hey, there was diamonds down here. Holy hell. The, this game is a lot more abundant with resources. Like the previous was really specific with where everything was. Oh, we can now make a storage module and a fabrication module. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll continue searching. Now, it feels quite obvious that there isn't going to be... Uh, I think we already have a storage one, yeah. No need for the titanium then. But yeah, from the looks of it, there's no pathway through here over to the architect artifact Q59. So it must be somewhere else, a different like ravine or cave that we need to find. Hmm. Well, we didn't find that obviously, but this still was quite a good journey. We're now able to make the storage module as well as the, uh, oh, screw you. Come on. I'm out of your reach now. Oh no. I don't know how much damage they do to my sea uh, truck, but even the tiniest bit of damage is probably quite painful. Especially when we lack batteries and, uh, we need to be swapping from our scanners to our re repair tools when needed, rather than have three batteries for each one, for each of them. I feel like I only mess up my words when I play Subnautica. Strange. Okay. Talk about it over there. Alright, alright, alright. There must be a pathway. There must. Could try searching for the drop beacon now that we can go further down. I mean, that would probably be a bit easier. Since we can... Go 150 meters further down to search for everything we need. Oh god. Oh god. Did we find the cave? Uh, I think so. Maybe not, maybe we just found another cave. What is that? What is that? A creature egg? Oh man, why the hell are the creature eggs here? Um, if we ever need to power a base over here, there's a bunch of uh, thermal vents. We know how to power it up. A thermal plant or two, a thermal plant or two will do the job. Oh man. Poor sea truck were completely dem demolishing it. Yikes, come on. Okay, not through there then. Um, where do we go? We're right next to the island now. Hey, we're back here. Hmm. What is the only way we really can search? Ooh, ravine. Come on. Ah. Uh, not really. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft now and trying to search for ravine. Yeah, bro, I need a ravine. Gotta get a mine shaft. Make everything a lot easier. Right. Uh, what type of module is this? That's just a sea truck fragment. Don't need that. Already got a sea truck. Oh god. Ah, oh, you can easily turn yourself around in this situation, from the looks of it. It's gonna be back to the same place, isn't it? 
as such, but still, I don't think it's going to be anything I'm going to find here. I feel like there's got to be something here, like, why else would they have resources and stuff like that, you know? Cooked featherfish? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll eat it. <laughs> oh, what is this? I knew it. I knew it. There had to be something here. Oh, wow. What is this place, though? We should be quite Warning. quick, though. 30 Rain seconds pool. of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to be quick. Okay, oxygen plant. Come on. Please change to what I need. Um. Oh, is this a quarry? That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, there seems to be Warning. a quarry that 30 has seconds a... seconds of oxygen remaining. That is mining for titanium, maybe? I oh, don't, don't need that. Um, no, that's thermal plant fragments. Oh, we definitely want to scan the prawn suit, but... <laughs> I'm also really worried about the goddamn oxygen. Alright, can we get in here? Nope. Yikes. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen Let's remaining. See if I could... Shoot. Come on. Scanner room, sure. Please, oxygen plant. Oh, it's over here. Alright. Uh, we definitely need to be here, but it's really tricky. Because we don't have an unlimited amount of oxygen. So we have to be, like, really quick with scanning. Or just not scan Warning. at all. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. One thing that we definitely need to do is not waste time doing random things. Go. Sign off here. What is all this? Build a fragment, this piece. Kind of measuring equipment? Little oh god. She'd send some over to set it up later. Ah, the alien no. science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You'd ask her to show you some of her findings. Oxygen pump, please. Stuff. Please. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. Is that good for me? To search for more of these. I'm worried. Maybe I should stop searching. Oxygen. Come on. There must be something I need. Oh, I need more oxygen plants. Please tell me they put one here. No. No. Give me that at least. Give me that. I don't know if I picked it up. I pressed X. Oh, shoot. We can make a builder now, though. That's really good. We can finally do some building. Oh man. I'm really happy that we get to spawn back to our vehicle, not the base. Whew, it fixes a lot of the... It fixes. It changes a lot of the anxiety from the game. Alright, what was this then? Measuring equipment. Right. Uh, let's see. That's Marguerite. We've got alien tattoo. We've got the alien statue. This statue of unknown origin, assembled with precision out of a block of pure copper ore, appears to represent a creature of some sort and resembles the centaurs of ancient Greek mythology. Okay. Uh, several theories have been po uh, posited. The statue could serve as a cultural marker denoting the presence of or authority of a particular race or subgroup of an intelligent alien race. Possible religious artifact depicting a deity or otherwise noteworthy figure. Or artistic expression, an invented form representing imaginative thought. Interesting ideas, if you ask me. Alright. Oh god, we have a bunch more things. Yeah, no, I'm not going to check them out right now. What? Come on. Where the hell are the other two? Oh, there they are. That's good enough now. 
We've got the dropped beacon here. We've got the planet location. Yes, yes, yes. We've already searched that now. And now we also have the fabrication modules. So this requires a computer chip, plasteel, and lead. Lead is probably going to be the biggest issue for both of these, actually. Because plasteel... Uh, we already got one. And then... We also have a bunch of silver already. I guess I should be looking out for the lead outcrops rather than just sitting around, but you know me. Uh, I do what I do. I don't want to waste any time from the looks of it, but I just, I'd really, really like... Oh, we already have a battery. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'd really like to find an area where I could just sit down and get some, you know, um, oxygen. Because there's got to be more to, like, search for around here, right? Like, are these unopenable? I mean, they just lead to another area from the looks of it. Can we go through? Come on. Come on. Ah! Trying to be cheeky. I think I'm gonna die now. So it might be better to explore the locations here. Wow. This was heavily impacted by humans. Also, here is the correct way to get it, Warning. I'm guessing. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hi, yep, yeah, no, I do not like that noise at all. No that one. Sorry to be a doubter of these creatures, but don't really trust them. Well, yeah, no. Uh, there's no real landmarks here that can state, uh, clearly show where this is. Okay, it's chasing me. It is chasing me, ladies and gentlemen. That is clear enough. Oh god, and it's right there. Chance of lead? Oh no, that's chance of silver. I already have a bunch of silver. You're just going to take up all my inventory. Okay. So it looks like oxygen plant and then straight down. Can we not? No, damn it. I'm wasting more and more time. Down, 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 down. Speed it up. Uh, nothing behind us. Everything is in front of us. Okay. Let's make sure we remember where the next oxygen plant is. Okay, it's to the left. Coolio. Then there's one, like, inside our location. We've already scanned this, can't scan it, scan it again. Cannot break these outcrops, at least not yet, too big. Can't open to access, what? Oh, damn. Fine, I'll just continue going down then. We've already scanned. There was something here we could scan that I didn't have time for. Oh no, just a copper wire. Hey, sweet drill arm. Yes, please. Ah, uh, sir. <laughs> sir. W no. Why are you attacking me? Please don't. I thought you were a nice creature. Ah, uh, prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Oh, yes. That is awesome. Now we know down here there's another oxygen plant, so let's use that real quick. Actually, anything here? No, it seems like it's just the artifact and there's not even another pathway. So, oxygen plant. I thought, I think that's a lead outcrop, so that might have been a bit of a mistake, but it's fine. Oh, damn, that's weird, we can't actually scan that one. There might be a tiny glitch there. Did we end up uh, unlocking this? Uh, yes, it must have been something we already have, because it's all titanium. And there definitely was an oxygen plant here. We didn't get to it in time, though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We can basically already um, already make the prawn suit. It's a creature egg, probably. Yep. What is that? Diamond, holy moly. I don't know what you guys think, but I feel like this game is definitely a lot easier for beginners. Because all the areas, or all the resources you're going to need, I'm guessing, for a later game... Are kind of given to you. 
Like, because there's all the Altera things, right? And all the, you know, Altera was smart enough to obviously create its bases uh, near resource heavy environments. So all you as a player have to do is just find all the old terror bases and you're kind of good okay aurora wreckage located survivors confirmed oh oh okay wait i think i know what this is uh old terror has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the aurora crash the transmission came from trade ship sunbeam which was passing nearby when it detected the race os hey old terror we've got one of our birds in your soup here yeah, it looks like they took survivors we're moving in for closer look while the number of survivors is not yet known for the true state of the ship, it is known it is now known that she has landed with a full with her hole largely intact on planet forty five forty six B. Smaller than Earth and largely water bound, it is thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. The sunbeam is registered as a five seater cargo vessel. Insufficient to evacuate the crew oh Insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that the investment is secure. There is at least one month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket which could be constructed using materials savaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home, now the rescue teams could meet them halfway, shaving off months off their return. Altera's share prices rose to the quarterly high on the news. So this is really interesting because this is all about the first game. Obviously, the Aurora was the ship you were in, the um, Sunbeam was the one that was trying to help you, and then the rocket is the one that you eventually use to escape 4546B. So it's really interesting. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sam. <laughs> Every episode we're going to have a different name for the BDA. Because it's just... It's sad, like, I'm not trying to remember the name. I can barely remember, you know, real life things. I, it's going to be a bit more difficult to remember everything else as well. Okay. Uh, oxygen plants and then getting the hell out. Is it this way? Nope. Um, might be better to just leave through that way because... Uh, Oh, no, there it is. Question is, will we survive the fire? Okay, quick, go now. Beautiful. It's all about timing. And even though you might want to rush because you have a limited amount of oxygen, thirty seconds of oxygen. there's no need because, trust me, you will make it. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day. Consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. That'd be great. And goodbye.